cry went out to the universe, so painful and lone that no one dared to hear it. Millions of stars glistened and danced in the deep, dark blue universe. We assembled at the unfolding edge, awaiting for the next call to participate. The unheard voice spoke, we are in need of a mother who is willing to lose a child. Oh, the audible gasp echoed throughout the throng. The ensuing silence was deafening. No one dared move in case it be perceived as acceptance to the call. This is a most important task, the voice continued. It will help to open the field for those searching for direction in their time of grief and loss. And so too, we need a child, a loving, soulful child. It was as if no one heard the call. The stars stopped glistening and dancing in anticipation of what might not happen next. As my heart pounded, I raised it, my hand far, far out into the abyss before me. I'll be the one, I heard myself say. What had I done? Everyone knows that once the call's been answered, it's set into the pattern of the universe and cannot be rescinded. From the depths behind me, I heard, I will be the child. I turned to look into the soul who had spoken. I want to remember the one who had agreed to share in this path with me. My eyes filled with tears. My heart soared in knowing the bitter sweetness this agreement will bring. Let it be so, the unheard voice reverberated. Millions of stars glistened and danced in the deep, dark blue universe. It's only me now, me and the ancients. They're helping to prepare me for my passage. I'm wrapped in a cloak of white light and seated on a cold white marble bench. An ancient extends a profoundly pink envelope. The postmark is illegible. The envelope reads, to the artist's mother, contract information enclosed. Through the path of this agreement, I brought into manifestation over 300 mandalas. What you are about to see is a culmination of the first 11, a creative collaboration with four men at Marion Correctional Institution. <laughs> 